Hi guys, welcome back to SAP Fiorify tutorial series. In today's video, we are moving to part 7 where we will learn how to validate user credentials using Northwind or Data Service. Before diving into the code, let's quickly recap what we have done in the past parts. In part 6, we connected our SAP Fiori app to the Northwind or Data Service and displayed product data in the app. Now, in part 7, we will add basic authentication to our app by validating the username and password ended in the login form. We will check if the user exists in the Northwind employees add data using an O data filter. Let's jump into the code and see how we can implement this. First, we need to update the on navigate to list function in the controller. Here, we will get the values of the username and password fields and check if they are empty. As you can see, we start by capturing the values ended for the username and password. If either of them is empty, we will display an error message using messagebox.error. Or using messagebox, we need to import it into the controller. For that, we will go to Google and search for SAP messagebox. Here, search for SAP messagebox. And you will find a link, click on the first one. And scroll to last. You can find the samples and implementation of this message box. If you click on that, it will take to another website. Here you can see the examples of message box. We are going to use the error from here. For getting the code, we need to click here and we should find message box code from the controller. First, we need to import this line to our controller. So copy this and paste on the top of our controller page. Then we need to type, then we need to get messagebox.error from the page. Here we can find messagebox.error. Copy this part and paste it in our code. Here we will paste messagebox.error and bracket inside the bracket we need to pass the message which need to be displayed when they didn't enter any username or any password. Now we will go and check the output for this. I think we are missing something because it's not working. So let's go to the code and check again. Yes, here we imported it into the controller but we forgot to pass it to the function. So for passing it to the function, add a comma here and type message box. Now I think it works. The validation is working successfully. Next, if the username and password fields are not MD, we will proceed to call the Northwind O data service to validate the credentials. We use the O data models read function to filter the employee's data based on the ended username and password. First, we will get our O data model into a model variable. Then we will read from the employees table. Now let's go to our O data services from the service center. As I said, we are going to use the employees data from the Northwind service. Here you can see the employees data and we will be using first name as our username. So first copy the employees and paste it in our read operation. Here we will go here and paste it here and we need to add filters. We are creating filters for the O data request using the sap.ua.model.filter class. We will go to the O data service again and copy the first name and paste it here. For comparing, we will use our EQ operator from the UI model. And we will pass our username variable which, which already have the username as the value. Similarly, we will add the password validation using the same line of code. Once we make the OData call, we will handle the response to check the credential match any existing employee record. If the OData call is successful and returns at least one result, we will display a success message using messagebox.success and navigate to the next view.
one thing we forgot here is to change the password column that is instead of first name we should use the extension we will go to the northwind service again and we will copy the extension from here and paste it here for navigating to the next page if the credentials are valid we need to copy our existing navigation code into the success part now let's validate our code by going to the output window and typing any username and password and click on login it is showing correct credentials because we forgot to add one more validation in our code let's go to our code and let's add one more part which is which will check the length of the returning variable we will store the returning value on o data and we will check the odd value of the o data that is length of the o data is greater than zero or not now if the connection is established and if it is returning something then uh, it will show in correct credentials but it should return something which should be stored inside the o data so here we will check whether the o data is having any any anything which having the length greater than zero copy paste the following codes inside the brackets also we will add one more else part which will shows invalid username or password we are missing a semicolon here also we need to bind this function for binding this let's add little more adjustments in our code we can add one more error message which will shows up when the connection is not established properly we will type the message as failed to fetch o data from the northwind service now let's test the implementation we will enter a valid username and password to see if the navigation works and then test an invalid case to check the error handling we can find a valid username and password by going to northwind service and clicking on live data there you can find the full name and extension as the password so here i am taking nancy as the username and i will go to the extension from the live data and copying this value as password and pasting it here and clicking on login as you can see when we provide the correct credentials the app navigates to the next view now let's go back and try with a wrong credential i will remove a y from nancy and try clicking on login when we enter invalid credentials an error message appears this ensures that the app currently validates user input and handles authentication that's it for part 7 we have successfully implemented a basic authentication mechanism using the northwind or data service in our fury app in the next video we will dive deeper into enhancing our app's functionality so stay tuned if you found this video helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out the previous parts in the playlist linked here and let us know if you have any questions or suggestions for the future videos see you in the next tutorial